Welcome to this tutorial on creating review copies on Story Origin. Let's go ahead and jump right in. As you can see, I'm here on the review copies tab of my dashboard already. I'm going to go ahead and hit the create review copy button. For this example, we're going to be just using Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'll go ahead and upload our book cover. We'll add a tag for fantasy and for vampires. Awesome, that's it. Uh, our, for our headline, I'm going to simply um, copy and paste some info that I've already written up here. The headline is typically something that you want to use to grab the reader's attention the subheader will pull them in, and then the blurb will explain a little bit more what the book is about. And for this, we need to also upload a sample of the book file. So this is typically, you know, can be 10%, could be the first chapter, could be the first five chapters, whatever is enough that you think uh, can get the reader to uh, know whether or not they're going to want to commit to reading the book and leaving a review. So it's sort of up to your discretion. You can uh, simply create a sample by uh, copying and pasting the first however much of your book, creating a new file, and then converting that into an EPUB and Mobi. I'll also upload the full book files here. And to prevent any confusion, you can see the name of the file that you have uploaded. It's always good to double check that before going ahead and hitting the create button. And lastly, it'll ask whether or not we've published the book yet. If we say no, we'll put an expected publication date and we will say what retailers uh, or what uh, platforms we will be looking for reviews on. And so if I chose Amazon, Apple, Google, etc., whenever it came time to actually publish the book, I would need to provide these links so that people could go to those places and leave reviews. Alternatively, uh, we can also use this for books that we have already published and we're looking to get more reviews on. We can simply copy and paste uh, the links in there and then we can say which platforms we're looking to prioritize. So if we really want reviewers to leave reviews on Amazon, Goodreads, and BookBub, we could just checkbox those three, and reviewers, before they request a copy, could see that that's where you're looking for reviews. They wouldn't be required to say that they're leaving a review necessarily on the platforms that you request, but it is a suggestion to the reader. Um, there are lots of reviewers out there who can leave uh, reviews on Goodreads or BookBub, but they don't necessarily match the criteria uh, or don't fit the criteria to be able to leave reviews on Amazon. Uh, and so you might be happy with accepting reviewers that just leave reviews on Goodreads and book, uh, BookBub. So, um, and it's still worth collecting applications from them. Let's go ahead though and say that we have not published the book. I'm going to go ahead and put the expected publication date as October 1st. This is not something that we will necessarily be held to. It's just something that to let the reader know when they're deciding to apply for a review copy, to let them know uh, around when you think that you're going to be publishing it. And <clears throat> also will remind you on your publication date to come back to Story Origin and make sure that you've marked it as published. Let's go ahead and just say Amazon, Goodreads, and BookBub for now. And let's say we are looking to prioritize reviews just on Amazon. We'll go ahead and hit Create. And if we copy this to our clipboard, We can see now that our expected publication is Tuesday, October 1st, and we could request a review copy. And the uh, reader can check out the sample that we uploaded and download that however they'd like. 
and they can say what platforms they are willing to uh, leave a review on. So if they have used uh, Story Origin before, it would automatically fill in their Amazon reviewer profile, which is something that you get to look at before approving them. And let's go ahead and hit re request review copy. So we can see that we've uh, submitted an application and uh, now the author, us in this case again too, would have to approve us. Let's go back over to our author dashboard on our review copies. I'll go ahead and refresh this page and you can see that we have one application that we need to review. And we can see the reviewer name, what platform they plan to review on, we can check out their reviewer profiles, and then we can either accept or decline that application. We can check out their uh, reviewer profile as well. So if they've requested uh, review copies on Story Origin before, it would show what their percentage completion rate is. This is just a little note to say that you know this reader hasn't had that many opportunities to review yet, so take the completion percentages with a grain of salt because they're all NA in this case. Uh, and we could click on the Amazon link and you could see uh, their profile of books that they have uh, they have reviewed on Amazon before or you could click on their links to other profiles. Again, since they're just planning to review on Amazon, we'd probably check out their Amazon profile. Make sure that they have reviewed other books in our genre and that they've left those reviews recently just so that we know that they meet Amazon's criteria for continuing to leave reviews. I'm going to go ahead and hit accept and you can see that there's a timeline here of when they were accepted and when uh, there will be other there will be other points in time so there will be points in time of when they've left their review and that will be recorded uh, so you'll be able to see their rating and review here and it'll be marked in their timeline and then there will be um, a note for when they've actually submitted the links for their reviews so they'll be asked to come back and leave a link to their Amazon review that will be recorded in their timeline uh, and if they haven't left that review within two weeks they will get an email from Story Origin and the date of that reminder email that went to that reviewer will also be recorded in the timeline. Let's go back to our dashboard though and let's go ahead and hit this book as published. So since we uh, said that we would provide links for Amazon, Goodreads, and BookBub, we'll need to go ahead and paste those in. Paste in our BookBub link. And paste in our Goodreads link. Now, when we hit the Mark as Published button and then we hit Notify Reviewers, this will send out a uh, note to the reviewers that they can go ahead and now go and actually leave their reviews on the sites other than Story Origin. And then they can submit their, their links to those reviews on Amazon or Goodreads or BookBub and uh, leave them back on Story Origin so that we know they've completed their review. I'll go ahead and hit notify reviewers. We get a little note that uh, they'll be notified the book's been published, and that's it. So again, we can go to our view accepted applications, and uh, we, we can always view everything there. We can see that our review copy is in, on, on our review copies tab. And that's it for uh, creating and managing review copies on Story Origin. If you have any questions, feel free to hit this contact link at the bottom of Story Origin and shoot me an email. Alrighty, that's it. Thanks for watching.